Hi, Budget Buddies. This is Abby and Liz with Abby and Liz, the channel where we're learning to live within our means. And this is week number eight of Budget Buddies. So thank you for joining us. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. And if you are, leave us a comment. Let us know what you're liking, if there's any topic you want us to cover, um, things like that. So Week number eight covers November 17th through the 23rd. This is Thanksgiving week, which, you know, means lots of food and, and Black Friday and things like that. So, Liz, do you want to go ahead and get started and share with us how your week has been so far? Yes. Um, this time of, or this specific time of year is actually a little bit better on our budget than other times because um, we've got family in town. Um my sister and her family are here from Canada and they, they're going to be here for like two weeks. Um, so they're staying at my parents' house and we've been eating over there a lot. So um, I actually haven't even gone to the grocery store this week. So um, saving like 50 bucks there. Thanks mom and dad. Woohoo! Um, yeah. And then let's see. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're pretty under budget because like my whole family knows that we're on a strict budget. Um, and so if we're like tossing around ideas for dinner and it's like, oh, do we want to order Chinese for everybody and we can all just pitch in or do we want to order a pizza and we can all pitch in? I'll be like, uh, well, we've got some macaroni and cheese in the cupboard. Like I'll make that for everybody, you know? So, um, and it, and it helps everybody else too. It's not like, you know, the rest of my siblings are made out of money or anything. So it's like, it's helping all of us. So, um, so yeah, I'm on nice and on track um, for, uh, for my stuff this week. Um, we got some, a little bit of Christmas shopping done when me and Adam went, um, away for the weekend for our anniversary. Um, and that's all coming out of our, um, we've got about $300 budgeted for Christmas. Um, so we are right on track. Um, how about you, Abby? That is awesome. Um, we're doing pretty good, too. So our Christmas, that reminded me, um, something I need to tell you. So for those of you who don't know Liz in real life, um, she used to work at the American Girl Store. And um, never mind. We're going to have to pin this conversation because there's ears around. Okay. But there's exciting things about that. Anyway, hey. we did do some Christmas shopping. And we also stayed within budget. Um Target took, like, all of our money this weekend between all of the, like, one-day sales and grocery has an amazing deal where if you spend $50 in um, grocery beverage or food, you get a $10 gift card. So we totally took advantage of that deal. And, yeah, um, it was awesome. So this week, so um, – recap our our grocery budget is $90 and we actually spent $133.23 this week but that's because the goal was to spend the 100 well so we did two separate transactions at Target both in $50 increments so we could uh, really take advantage of that $10 gift card deal so we spent $133.23 on groceries but um, because this time of year is so great um, on the Ibotta app, we got a lot of rebates back. Um, we had those gift cards. So after we took away um, all of that, we actually spent $104. So after like the actual savings of those rebate apps. So, and we, we stocked up on um, goods that won't go bad um, right now. So, uh, this time of year around Thanksgiving and Christmas, a lot of the big box stores like Target, Walmart will compete with local grocery stores and they'll try to do the rock bottom price that they absolutely can because the competition is so high. So I was able to get groceries like canned goods at almost 50% off, if not more boxed goods, the same, especially the seasonal items like cream of whatever soups or canned vegetables, especially. I think I spent I think it was $42 for name brand vegetables, um, a can. And so we stocked up a lot, uh, frozen vegetables, especially because, um, you know, we're trying to always have a vegetable at dinner or, you know, for lunches. And one of the areas that, you know, you spend a lot of money in is fresh produce. And in the wintertime here in the Midwest, it's not that fresh anyway. 
So I've done a lot of research and frozen vegetables are basically the healthiest and cheapest route to go. So we stocked up on some frozen vegetables. So even though we spent over our budget, we're going to eat this food well into like December even like, well, yeah. probably even January. Yeah. So yeah, we were a little over on that, but for the month we're still under. So we only have one week left of November. My budget for groceries was $350 and we still have like $20 left. And I don't know if we'll use it even. Nice. Isn't that insane? That's awesome. And like, and so where, where are you at for eating out or is that all lumped together? Eating out. So we used to have, so if you guys can remember back in like August, we were spending almost like a thousand dollars a month on grocery food and then like four to $500 a month on eating out. So we're talking like $1,500 in food, which is which, insane. Yeah. And now, so this, this month, our, our budget was 350 and I got to be honest, I didn't think we were going to hit it, but I think we are. And mm -hmm. as far as the eating out goes, we took that budget category away and we had combined that with Bo and my personal money. And right now, um, we get $40 a week and there is four weeks in November. And so Bo still has... $20.19 that he will get on Black Friday mm -hmm. that will then carry him over. And I actually, unfortunately, have gone over by $39 for the month so mm -hmm. far. But if we're taking into account that that's eating out, that's our clothing budget, and then that's our fun money, like, we're doing amazing. Yeah. We've reduced our spending so much. Yep. That is amazing. So. Yeah. It really is. I cannot believe it. And so – now we're actually going to, so our goal for this month, and this is kind of a downer. I know we had people rooting for us in the comments on the last video. Our goal for this month was to pay off our credit card debt. Um, but we decided that, and this, I, it, I know it's, it's going to sound horrible, but essentially we've never got to really experience Black Friday in the terrible consumer way that Americans do. And... Bo really wants a new TV. Our TV literally blew up. I can't remember if I shared that or not, like, in these videos. But our TV blew up a couple months ago, and we've been using an old TV. So he has decided to take his savings and use that towards a new TV, which we both agreed on because it's, like, a family purchase. And yeah. then we haven't been able to gift some of our family members who in the past couple years have really been very gracious and – have given us a lot, you know, whether it's, you know, food when they probably knew we, you know, had been eating mac and cheese forever or, you know, whatever it was. So we really want to get some nicer, higher end gifts for people. So we're going into Black, F Black Friday with a $300 budget and we're hoping this will cover everybody. Mm -hmm. So instead of using that money to pay off our credit cards, we'll be a little bit short. Mm -hmm. But we're doing Black Friday where we're actually getting to purchase things. We're not putting anything on a credit card. And yeah. we won't go negative, And all of our bills are paid. So it's like this is like a crazy feeling to like go into. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think, I mean, I, it'd be great to like pay off your credit card and everything. But like you guys are really close. So um, it makes, this makes sense. You know, you're taking advantage of like the one day a year when you can get nice things like at a really reduced price yeah and that's what we kind of thought too it's like you know so like the tv he wants is like a 900 hundred dollar tv and it's on sale for like 400 dollars. so <laughs> that alone is saving us you know the 500 dollars that if we would have went out last month or the month before when he wanted to go buy the tv it would have been ridiculous when we knew it was going to go on sale and then you know it went on sale even more than we expected it to mm -hmm. so yeah it's kind of like going back to that stock up price of can you afford to go to sam's club or do you have to just get what you need that week like unfortunately yeah. we're in a position this year that we've never been in before where we can actually take advantage of those low low prices mm -hmm. so yeah that's our week we're we're hanging in there we're spending a heck of a lot less than we have in previous months and the only real tip I have for you is, so this is Thanksgiving week. And again, I mentioned that groceries are really on sale. 
to just be cautious that, you know, sometimes what our trustee savings, you know, our go-tos like Aldi's and the dollar generals and things like that, that this week, um, especially this week and then probably the week before Christmas, your best bet is to go to places like Walmart and Target. Or if you have a favorite local grocery store that um, matches ads, I recommend doing that. Um, I got an entire Thanksgiving dinner this weekend at Target that would feed about four to six people. I'm talking the turkey, several different sides. I broke it all down. Um, I can post this to our Abby and Liz Instagram. I don't know if you can see it, but I broke it all down and it came to $29.75 for the entire dinner. Um, and then you have things like Ibotta. So this month I've hustled about $250 and $45.21 of that is just through Ibotta. And it's things that I already would have purchased like butter or milk or canned goods. Um, and especially coming into this weekend with Black Friday, be, um, be on Ibotta because if you're doing any online purchase or shopping, you can link through that through Ibotta. Like two weeks ago, they had a big 20% off weekend and I took advantage of that and I got $16 back. So those are my two budgeting tips. So going into Black Friday, price match, make sure you're looking anytime you're buying anything online, go through Ebates or Ibotta and um, now is the time. I think the Target deal goes through Wednesday. If we can get this video up by Wednesday at 10 p.m., you can go get some super, you know, cheap groceries. But if not, I've been posting on our Instagram. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. Yeah. And this is the time of year to buy butter, everybody. You'll go never buy your butter. You'll never see butter prices this low. And never. believe me, because I buy a lot of butter. This is the, the cheapest time the to do it. real butter. None of this margarine. No. No. Butter. None of that. Get out of here. Also. And freeze it because it lasts forever in the freezer. Freeze your butter. And fun <laughs> fact, did you know that you should buy unsalted butter because when they salt the butter, they do that so it'll like last longer, which I don't know about you, but I don't, that kind of makes me a little iffy. And then also they don't, since they make it in such big batches, like they don't know exactly how much salt is in the salted butter. And so I learned that from TV, you guys. So what? Yeah. So get the unsalted butter. Be was honest. It? Was, was that like a Sesame street or a Daniel tiger behind the scenes? Cause they no. always have fun things like that. Like when they go to the crayon factory, I think it was like food network or something. It was sometime when I had the remote away from Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. I did not know that, but I do yeah. buy unsalted butter because I feel like <laughs> This is like girl math. It's like, well, I'm eating the real butter because the other butter will probably give me cancer, but the real butter is like 5,000 calories per like sliver. So I'll at least get the unsalted butter so I won't die of like a heart attack as fast because it's yeah. at least lower in sodium. Yeah, you can have like two <laughs> slivers of unsalted butter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all have a good, yummy dinner with all the unsalted butter your heart <laughs> desires. <laughs>